a 3.5% concentrated 250 milliliter IV bag was used for one hour. The flow rate of the medication is set at five milliliters per hour. Okay. If you know that the medication has a concentration of 0 0.05 grams per milliliter, then how much medication in mass would the patient receive over the one hour? Keep answer to the thousandth. Okay, let's write down our givens. So this is definitely a concentration problem. So we have, so three and a half percent concentration. Okay, this is for 250 milliliters and it was used for one hour one hour use the flow rate of the medication is set to five milliliters per each hour okay so this actually tells us okay so since we've used it for one hour okay this actually tells us how much of the medication they received. Now the concentration here is 0 0.05 grams per milliliter. Okay, so let's take a look and see how to solve this question. So once again, so we have an IV bag, okay, of, so let's say some IV bag, okay, and inside of this, so we have some 250 milliliters, and it has a concentration of 3.5%. So we can find out, okay, how much medication we have inside of this 250, because we know the concentration. And now, so by the way, you know, I can change this to, so this is 3.5%, okay, because it's in a fraction, so I can keep it as a decimal if I like. And now, let me define, so this is let M be the mass, okay, of the meds that are given to this patient over that one hour. So I have, so M equals. All right, so we know that they're going to be using the medication for one hour, okay? So I need a, a starting point when I typically take the one which has just one unit. So they're gonna be using this for one hour. Well, so now I want to use cancellation of units here. Okay, so notice my second given. Okay, so this one right here, because that's where I see the hours, and I want this hour right here to cancel off. So how much medication have they used? Well, they've used five milliliters, okay, for every one hour. Okay, so that's right here. Okay, notice that the hours cancel off. So I know that they have taken in five milliliters. Now, if they used it for two hours or for two and a half hours, okay, then I would put, say, two times 5.0 over one, and that would give me the amount that they've actually used in total. So first is I need to know, okay, how much? Now, next, I do know that although they've taken in five milliliters, that five milliliters is only concentrated at 0 0.035, okay? And again, remember that if you divide by 100, okay, you will get your decimal equivalent. So I have how much they have taken in, so this is how much, Okay, in total, 
then next, okay, if I do times the three and a half percent, this tells me how much within that five milliliters is the actual medication. But notice I still have milliliters. And that's where the last given comes in, okay, because now I can multiply and I want to know how many grams they have taken in. And that is per every one milliliter, okay, so per one milliliter. And that milliliter will cancel off this milliliter, and all I will have left is the grams. So the amount of mass, okay, now if I take all of this and multiply, so I have one times five, so I take all the ones in the numerator, times 0 0.035 times 0 0.05 equals, okay? So I have in total 0 0.00875. But they want me to round this to the thousandth. So rounding to the thousandth, okay, so it's only going to turn out to be grams of meds. Okay, and that completes this particular question. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful.